Let's do this with an example. Find the lowest common multiple, abbreviated to LCM, of 12 and 18. The multiples of 12 are 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 12, and so on. In other words, we write out the times table here, which I could carry on with. We then look at the multiples of 18, and again we write out the times table here. We then look down the tables to see the first occasion that they give the same number, and it is when we can see they're both 36. So the lowest common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. I'm just doing a quick division here to show, in fact, that 36 is a multiple of 12 and 18. We can also use prime factorization to find the lowest common multiple of 12 and 18. And here I'm finding the prime factors of 12 using the technique introduced in the previous video in this playlist. And we can see that 12 is 2 to the 2 times 3. Now I'm going to do the same for 18. So look back at the previous video if you're unsure how to do this. And we can see that this is 2 times 3 to the 2. We then inspect the prime factors to see which is the biggest power. And in this particular case, we can see it's 2 to the 2 is the biggest. We then look for the 3, and we can see in this particular case that the biggest is 3 to the 2. So we can therefore say the lowest common multiple of 12 and 18 is the 2 to the 2 times the 2 to the 3, which is 4 times 9, which is 36. Consequently, we can see we found that the lowest common denominator is 36 using this technique. We'll now look at another example. Find the lowest common multiple of 66 and 144. Let's take the 66. Well, we use the technique introduced in the last video in the playlist to find the prime factors of 66. And we can see, in fact, that 66 is given by 2 times 3 times 11. We do the same thing for 144. We go through this producing the um, factor tree and we can see that we will end up with all the prime factors for 144. So if we highlight them now we can see we have the following. Therefore 144 is as follows which we can write out as 2 to the 4 times 3 to the 2. We then look for the highest power of 2, and we can see it's 2 to the 4. We then look for the highest power of 3, which is 3 to the 2. Now this one has 11, so we have to include that. Now of course, this is 16, this is 9, and this is 11. Now when you multiply that together, you get 1584. 1084. So the lowest common multiple of 66 and 144 is 1,500 and 84. Let's look at uh, another example. Let's find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 15. We take the 6 and we can see that that can be made out of 2 times 3. So they're the prime factors, so 6 is 2 times 3. We'll do the same for 15, and we can see that 3 times 5 gives 15, and they happen to be prime numbers, so 15 can be represented by 3 times 5. We then have a look, and we can see that we have a 2 here, so we have to include that. Then we can see we have a 3, that's common to both. That's the highest power, so it's 3. And this one has 5, so we have to include that. When we multiply all that together, we get 30. Therefore, the lowest common multiple of 6 and 15 is, in fact, 30. And we can just do a quick division to show that it's, in fact, a multiple. But we've just worked out that 30 is the lowest common multiple of 6 and 15. 